from glory to glory to glory who were from the prayer closet to your holy throne jesus hallelujah you speak to me and i speak to thee who were, were in the prayer closet to your holy throne jesus stay prayerful from glory from glory to glory thank you lord nobody can stop me i'm in the prayer closet to your holy throne jesus thank you jesus you speak to me thank you lord and i speak to thee yeah, yeah. prayer closet to your holy throne hallelujah thank you jesus there's victory hallelujah victory who were, were in the prayer closet to your holy throne jesus father show yourself from glory from glory to glory nobody can block me i'm in the prayer closet to your holy throne jesus hallelujah and you speak to me and i speak to thee who yeah yeah in the prayer closet to your holy throne hallelujah glory be to god and there's glory more glory hallelujah i'm in the prayer closet to your holy throne hallelujah stay prayerful there's glory from glory to glory more glory more glory more glory to your holy throne hallelujah thank you jesus you speak to me I speak to thee who yeah, yeah in the prayer closet to your holy throne thank you Jesus from glory from glory to glory the devil can't stop me I'm in the prayer closet hallelujah thank you Jesus let's worship the Lord right now hallelujah from glory from glory to glory the devil can't stop me i'm in the prayer closet to your holy throne thank you jesus thank you you're my family thank you and i pray for my family who were in the prayer closet to your holy throne jesus hallelujah you're my family thank you and i pray for my family whoa, whoa, in the prayer closet to your holy throne jesus who us you're my family and i pray for my family who were, were in the prayer closet to your holy throne jesus let's give the lord a wave offering from glory father show yourself jesus 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 spirit of the lord said so God. Spirit of the Lord said so. The Spirit of the Lord said so. The Spirit of the Lord is here. The Spirit of the Lord is here. The Spirit of the Lord is here. Thank you, Jesus. Daily I shall worship the Lamb of God who died for me. And extended grace and mercy daily, 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 daily. I worship thee. Let all the people praise him. Thank you. Let all the people praise him. Yeah. Let all the people praise thy name 
forevermore from glory. Thank you. Hallelujah. Cool. He's in the room right now. From the prayer closet to your holy throne, Jesus. Thank you. Daily I shall worship thee, Lamb of God who died for me. And extended grace and mercy daily, 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 daily. Daily, 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 daily. Daily, 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 I worship Thee. Yes, Lord. Oh, Jesus, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, 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 Lord. Yes, Lord. Made a way. Oh, Jesus. Made a way. Oh, He made a way. Made a way, ooh, he made a way, he made a way. You've been so good, oh Jesus God. Been so good, oh, you've been so good. You've been so good, oh, so good. You've been so good, wonderful Savior. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Wonderful Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Father, show yourself. Hallelujah. You speak to me. Thank you. And I speak to thee. Whoa, whoa, in the prayer closet to your holy throne. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God has been good to me. We're soaking in the glory. We're soaking in his presence. He's been so good to me. More than this world could ever be. He's been so good to me. He dried all of my tears away. He turned my midnight into day. So I'll say hey, thank you, Lord. I, I won't complain. Sometimes my clouds hang low. I can't hardly see the road. I ask the question, Lord, why so much pain? But he knows what's best for me, though my weary eyes can't see. So I'll say hey, thank you, Lord. And I, 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 I won't complain. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. When I walk is by the way, Thou leads me in the fatness of the land. He said, I'll feed thee in a mansion in the sky. God says, I'll deed thee. And your high place, I'll bring down glory be to God. And your high place, oh Jesus, all day long I've been with Jesus. All day long my lips have uttered praise. All day long my heart, my soul's been lifted in worship. All day long I have been with Him. Daily I shall worship thee, Lamb of God who died for me, and extended grace and mercy. Daily, daily, daily I worship. Let all the people praise him. Glory be to God. Praise him in China. Yesu, 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 Yesu. Praise him in India, Yeshu, Yeshu, ye praise him all throughout the Spanish-speaking nations. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah, let's praise him in South Africa. Jesu, Busa, Jesu, Busa. Busa, Jesu, Busa. You are the King of Zion, the Lion of Judah reign. Jesus reign, Jehovah, Retepile. 
Retapulate when you know every day, each and every hour. Jehovah, the world, the world is shaking. There are many questions, but few answers, and that's why. And that's why, and that's why, and that's why. Oh, well, oh, the world, the world is shaking. There are many questions, but few answers, and that's why, Jehovah, we trust in you. Retempule weina, oh Jesus, El Shaddai Adonai, Uwe, Kana ba 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 si, I do it, I do it. I'm in the prayer, I hear the voices, choirs of the angels. Lift the praises high, let it fall to the world below. I hear the voices, choirs of the angels. Lift your voices higher, everybody. Higher, 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 higher. Lift Jesus higher and lower, 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 lower. Stop Satan lower. And super, 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 supernatural power. I hear the voices, choirs of the angels. Lift the praises high and falls to the world below. I hear the voices, choir of the angels. Lift him higher, higher, everybody. Oh, Jesus. Higher, 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 higher. Higher, higher, lift Jesus higher. And lower, 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 stump Satan lower. Now super, 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 supernatural power. Super, 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 supernatural power. Glory be to God. My God, you raised us right. You raised us right. Glory be to God. Super, 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 supernatural power. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Lamb of God, seated at the right hand of the Father. You are holy, holy, you are holy. Lamb of God, seated at the right hand of the Father. You are holy, holy, you are holy. Our hands are lifted. What? See how they love them. Our hands are lifted. Voices are singing as, as we glorify your name. Our hands are lifted. Voices are singing as, as we glorify your name. Oh, Jesus. To glory. Hallelujah. From the prayer closet. Prayer closet. Oh, Jesus. Bow down and worship him. Worship him, oh, worship him, consuming fire, sweet perfume, his awesome presence, it fills this room, this is holy ground, stay prayerful, so come and bow, bow down, hallelujah, bow down and worship him, worship him, oh, worship him, consuming fire, Glory be to God. Sweet perfume, his awesome presence fills his room. This is holy ground. Glory be to God. Point to yourself. Say, this is holy ground. This is, so come and bow, bow down. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, yeah, Lord, I love you more than anything. 
love you more than anything. Love you more than anything. Kona ba shondo do lobo koi na ma sin tiviki. Let's saturate in His presence. Hallelujah. Let's saturate in the Shekinah. Shekinah is a Hebrew word. It means God tends here. He sets up here. You say, what's the scripture, Mr. Preacher? He inhabits the praises of Israel, of his people, his chosen. He said, this day I have begotten thee. Behold, I will do a new thing, saith the Lord. Shall ye not know it? I will even make ways in the wilderness and rivers in the, de rivers in the desert to give drink to my people. It's not much of a desert anymore if there's a ri river going. My God, he said, I'll turn the situation. When I make an end, I'll make a beginning. When I make a beginning, I will also make an end. From the prayer closet. Hallelujah. From the prayer closet. Yeah, yeah. From glory. He's in the room right now. There's no shortcuts. We're soaking in the glory. We're putting the time in. Hallelujah, my God. You can sleep to this. Turn autoplay off, but you can sleep to this. Because the Holy Ghost is here right now. Spirit of the Lord said so. I don't have anywhere else to be. This is what I do. I'm on my job. And I'm my corner. And apparently you're on your job too. Because he said, my God. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. It says pray without ceasing. It says men ought always to pray. It says I will bless the Lord at all times. How much times? Hallelujah. From glory. And I rebuke these allergies right now in the name of Jesus. Come out. And I pray for healing. He said I am the Lord that healeth thee. And if you're going through anything right now, any medical, anything, I cast that sickness out right now. In the name of, we don't have to be sick. He said, ye have not because he asked not. But ask and it shall be given. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. But when you ask, ask believing. So Father, if this dear soul doesn't have the faith, give him the faith right now. And if I don't have the sufficient amount of faith, give me the faith. By faith, I pray for faith. They said, increase our faith. It says in Jude chapter 1 and verse 20, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. The Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the, the mouth speaks, so create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. A right spirit like William Seymour, Jenny Moore, Jenny Moore Seymour, a right spirit. Glory be to God. A right spirit like Evan Roberts. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. A right spirit like Zinzendorf. A right spirit like George Mueller. Hallelujah. Makanda lama shanda baka. Renew a right spirit. Renew. Kona ba shanda. Renew. Renew. Give God a wave offering. A right spirit. Renew. Hey. Apparently the Lord, the Lord wants to hear some Watkins. Come on. Renew a right spirit. Cast me not away from thy presence. Take not thy Holy Spirit from me and renew. Renew a right spirit. Create in me a clean heart. Hallelujah, oh, renew, 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 a right spirit, renew. Great is thy faithfulness, oh God, my Father, there is no shadow of turning in thee. Thou changest not thy compassion, it fails not. As thou hast been, thy forever will be. Great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies are to And all I have needed, thy hands have provided. Great is thy faithfulness, O oh Lord. Oh God to me, great is thy faithfulness. 
Great is thy faithfulness morning by morning. New mercies I see. It could have been me out there with no food and no clothes. Just another number. Huh. But you didn't see fit to let none of these things be. And every day by your power, you keep on keeping me. And I want to say thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me. Hallelujah, I got to go. Do I have to go, Lord? And after you've done all you can. Shanda. After you've done all you can. Jesus. Hallelujah. You've prayed and you cried. Glory be to God. You've cried and you prayed. You prayed and you cried. You cried and you prayed. And after you've done all you can. Friends walked away. Ooh, glory. Your family turned their back. And it's just you and Jesus. Glory be. Ah, after you've done all you can, you just stand. Yes, you just stand. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. You speak to me. Hallelujah. And I, whoa, whoa, in the prayer closet. Thank you, Jesus. Stay prayerful. <laughs> I'm not trying to be sniffing in the mic, but <laughs> I'm trying to breathe. Come on. <laughs> Stay prayerful. You pray for me, I'll pray for you. The Bible says, let us pray one for another. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. After you've done all you can. After you've done all you can. Prayed and you cried. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Stay prayerful. You speak to me. Thank you. And I speak to thee. Who whoa, whoa, in the prayer closet to your holy throne. Thank you, Jesus. Freedom reigns in this place. Showers of mercy and grace. Falling on every face, there is freedom where the Spirit of the Lord is. There is freedom if you're tired and you are weary. There is freedom because freedom reigns in this place. Showers of mercy and grace falling on every face. There is freedom. You're joining us in a prayer meeting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's saturate in his presence. Let's think about Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeshua. Jesu. Jesus. Yesu. Isus. Yeshu. Say it however you say Jesus in your native tongue. However you say Yeshua in your native tongue. Go ahead and say it right now. Give God the praise if all you say is Jesus. Hallelujah. When you said Jesus, you said it all. Hallelujah. Get your Bible ready. Get the app. Get your, if you have a, a physical Bible, come on, get it ready. Let's go to the book of Acts. In the Bible, King James Version, Acts chapter 19. I believe we're going to start at verse 2. Let me see. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, yes, let's start at verse 2. Hallelujah, you're in a prayer meeting with us. Thank you, Jesus. You can go, you can go to sleep if you need to sleep. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. If you need to take a nap, go ahead and take a nap. The Bible says, uh, old men shall dream dreams. Come on. Young men shall see visions. And on my servants and on my handmaidens in those days, I will pour out of my spirit upon all flesh. 
so the Lord might speak to you in your unconscious state. The Lord might speak to you in a subconscious state. And the Bible says and it, that they also went into a trance. Glory be to God. He died. There was another place on the road to Damascus. He said, Saul, Saul. He said, who are you, Lord? He said, it is me, Jesus. Hallelujah, my son. There's all kind of different ways the Lord moves, different manifestations of the Holy Spirit, of Spirit to Santo. Hallelujah, my son. Ananias was praying. And the Lord said to him, he said, Ananias, he said, yes, Lord. He said, there's one called Saul of Tarsus. Go to him. He said, is this the one that was making havoc of the church? He said, yes. But go to him, for behold, he prayeth. Let's pray to Jesus right now. Father, show yourself that God can say to the angels, ah, look at them there. Behold, she prayeth. Look at them there. Behold, he prayeth. The Bible says two or three. I discern the divine manifestation of God's grace. I don't know where you're watching from, but I'm okay. let's pray to Jesus right now. You don't have to come to pray to Jesus.org, but you do have to pray to Jesus. The Bible says men ought always to pray. The Bible says pray without ceasing. The Bible says when they had prayed, prayed without ceasing. The Bible says they continued instant in prayer and fasting. The Bible says when they had fasted with prayer. The Bible says this kind come forth not out but by prayer and fasting. The Bible says open thy mouth wide and I will fill it. It says ask and it shall be given. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be open unto you. Let me fi find something to knock on. Knock and the door shall be open unto you. But when you ask, ask believing. George Mueller said it to one man. He said, don't bother praying. You don't believe. My God, we've got to pray that we have the faith because it says it's according to your faith be it unto you. And faith without... Without faith, it is impossible to please him. Impossible. The just shall live by faith. What? Faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not yet seen. By faith, I can speak to yonder mountain and say, Be thou removed, and it would have to be cast into sea, into the sea, in all things, whatsoever you shall ask the Lord, believing. When I'm going into those different languages, that's called the glossolalia, or speaking in tongues, or speaking in other tongues, in other languages, by the Spirit of God. It is the evidence of receiving the Holy Spirit. The Bible says they shall speak with new tongues. And then that, prophet, that prophecy was manifested uh, on the day of Pentecost in the upper room in the book of Acts. It was Acts chapter 1 and 2. And they spake in other languages by the Spirit of God as a confirmation that they had received the otherworldly supernatural power of God manifested upon them and through them. The Lord will take dominion of your tongue. But not only will he take dominion of the tongue, he will take dominion of the brain, the body, the soul. Because the Bible says, What know ye not? Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. What? What? Know ye not? Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, and it, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own, but ye are bought with a price. Therefore glorify God. Again, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. As we live and breathe, we're a sacrifice, not a dead sacrifice. As we live and breathe a sacrifice, but not I, but Christ. Christ. And in the life we now live, we live by the glory of God and for the glory of God. All baptized into one body by one spirit, the spirit of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. The Bible says in John chapter 3 verse 5, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. He said it earlier. Jesus said it earlier in that passage. Marvel not, ye must be born again. You must be born of the water and of the spirit. Hallelujah. Mashallah. Baptized means. And so he answered it. 
And it said in Acts chapter 2 and verse 38, the Holy Spirit said through Peter, repent and be baptized. How can I be born again? Well, repent and be baptized, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's how we're born of the water and of the Spirit, baptized in the name of Jesus. The Bible says here in Acts chapter 19, if I skip to verse 5, when they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Because there is none other name given under heaven whereby men must be saved. At the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess. Jesus Christ is Lord. But here's the problem that some have. Some people are going to bow now. Others will bow after they're dead. But my God, everybody's going to bow. You're either going to bow in heaven or you're going to bow in hell. But you will bow to Jesus. Hallelujah. Every knee shall bow, every tongue. Well, what we know is even even though we're going to go uh, and shed the fleshly robe, there's still going to be an ability to bow. Even as a spirit without a body, a natural body, there still must be an ability to bow down. And because we know that spirits still have uh, abilities to move, because the Bible said that Jesus Christ was standing at the right hand of God. And it says, sit thou at my right hand. So spirits still have abilities to stand and walk and move and apparently to bow. Because it says every knee shall bow. Glory be to God. You might as well bow now. Kinda because we're going to bow to the name of Jesus. We're going to bow to the person of Yeshua Jesus. Hallelujah. We're going to bow in the presence of the Lord Yeshua. I'd rather be bowing to him in heaven than bowing down in hell. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now we've got to be baptized in the name of Jesus because he said, If you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. He said, The children are free. We're free if we'd be obedient to him. He said, You are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. He said, Thou shalt call his name Jesus. What Yeshua. What does that name mean? For he shall save his people from their sins. Hallelujah unto God. We've got to be baptized in the name of Jesus to be cleansed. The Bible says, the blood of Jesus cleanseth us from all sin. Now remember it said, it's according to your faith be it unto you. So by faith, the water, going down in the water, full submersion, and they say in the name of Jesus, a prayer over us, it represents a death, a burial, and coming up out of the water represents a resurrection as Jesus died on the cross. He was buried in the tomb and he was resurrected by his own power, the power of the Holy Spirit, by his own spirit, which we refer to as the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. That's why it says, uh, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. Remission means forgiveness, pardon. Jesus, Jesus. Father, show yourself. Jesus, 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 let's soak in the glory. Hallelujah. Father, show yourself. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. We love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Te amo, Jesus. Hallelujah. El fuego de tu presencia. Why do we have to be baptized in the name of Jesus? Because he said, marvel not, you must be born again. When we were born the first time, we didn't have a choice. But he said, you got to be born again, and this time you've got to choose. You've got to choose Jesus. Hallelujah. We have to choose to be one of the Jesus people. And the, we've got to have his name on us. And now my Kaya, the Bible says nothing can ascend unless something has first descended. The Holy Spirit descended from heaven like a dove in bodily form. It stayed on that one Yeshua so that John the Baptist would know and we would know that Yeshua is the Messiah, the Savior of the world. He is God manifest in human form to give himself as a sacrifice for the sins of the world. It's all about Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah unto God. By one man's disobedience, Adam, sin came into the world. But by one man's obedience, Jesus, there's an opportunity for atonement to be cleansed of sin if we would have the faith in God and believe that the water represents a born-again experience, a new birth. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus cleanseth us from all sin. By faith, by faith, by faith. The just shall live by faith, by faith I believe that being baptized full submersion in the water represents a new birth. 
Hallelujah. Now you can receive the Holy Ghost before you're baptized. You can receive the Holy Ghost while you're being baptized. You can receive the Holy Spirit after you're being baptized. Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Espiritu Santo. It's all the same. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, show yourself. And the evidence of it said the, the prophetic, uh, the prophecy in the prophetic was they shall speak with new tongues. And the Bible says, I will go to a nation that sought me not. So what God is doing is he's bringing us together by the tongues. In the Tower of Babel, they were trying to build a tower to get to heaven without God. They wanted to get to heaven without the Holy Spirit. And he confused their language. He confused their little project, their little construction project by confusing their language. But now he brings us together by the, the language, the speaking in other languages, that we would all know, all of us who speak in those other languages by the Spirit of God, we all know we're the Jesus people by that. But we're not, the, we're not all the Jesus people unless we're baptized in the name of Jesus. So we've got to not only, it says, born of the water and of the Spirit. So not only are we, if we're baptized in the name of Jesus in the water, okay, that's one step. But we've got to be filled with the Holy Spirit of the Lord Jesus. That's another step. But then it says, men ought always to pray. Jude chapter 1 and verse 20, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Now we're getting to it. We've got to be sanctified. How are our sins separated from us? Baptism in the name of Jesus baptized in the sacrifice obedient to the word of God Jesus said he said marvel not ye must be born again he said don't marvel at this you've got to be born again because you have to choose it says choose you this day whom you will serve will you serve God or man and Joshua said in another place he said as for me and my house we will serve the Lord and God said this is my son hear him and Jesus said I and my father are one glory be to God We've got to do what God said to do. And God, Jesus is God. He said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. God, the Father said from, from heaven, he said, this is my son, hear him. Hallelujah. Jesus said, I am my Father or one. And he said, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. How mighty he said, and then he is, Jesus is the son. He said, whom do men say I, the son of man, am? And then Jesus is the Holy Ghost. And he said, the Bible says Mary was with child of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah, my Satya. And the Bible says, Jesus said, I'll go away. I'll send back the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. So Jesus ascended up into the heavens. And, he's, and the Bible says he sits at the right hand of God. But he sent back his Spirit without his natural body. And we call that the Holy Spirit. So in order to stay connected, the Bible says of Jesus, he oft times resorted, meaning to pray. The Bible says in the, in the Garden of Gethsemane that Jesus prayed. Um, he said the Spirit spirit is willing but the flesh is weak the bible says he went away again and prayed he said can you not watch with me for one hour that's what we're doing right now watch meaning to pray a prayer watch and that's what you're doing with me right now what we're doing god is here jesus is here you're here i'm here a threefold cord is not easily broken and we're praying right now and then jesus went away again the third time and he prayed again and jesus was always praying and he told us to pray he said, "You're not a servant is not greater than his Lord. Servant is not greater than his master. And Jesus always prayed. So we have to always pray. Why? To stay in communion with God. To be one with God. And there's no way to ascend into the holies without the Holy Spirit. Because I can go to Cleveland without the Holy Ghost. I can go to... I can't Germany without the Holy Ghost. I can go to Port Elizabeth, South Africa without the Holy Ghost, Warsaw, Poland, or parts of uh, uh, Henan province or Beijing, Macau, and Hong Kong. But I can't go to... I can go to the Philippines, Manila, Anamaka, Quezon City, and uh, Calicoon, and I can, I can go to India, Bangalore, New Delhi, Mumbai, and Indonesia, Malaysia, and Canada, and uh, Montreal, and British Columbia, Vancouver, and Ontario, and Hamilton, Ontario. I can go to Toronto, Can I can, I can go to all those places without the Holy Ghost. God bless all those dear souls in those places. Hallelujah. The Lord wanted to go that way. 
So God bless all those dear souls and those dear provinces. Light down on them with the power of God. Supernatural, otherworldly, Spirit of God, have your way in those places and all over this world, wherever this listener is watching from. Hallelujah unto God, this dear viewer. Father, do it right now, Jesus. But you can't go to the holies. You can't ascend into the holies or the heavens without the Holy Spirit. One day our spirit is going to separate from the natural body. And if we are not filled with the Holy Spirit, and if we have not been praying in the Holy Spirit, and that the Bible even says it is not I but Christ, because he said it is the spirit itself that maketh intercession. Glory be. The flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. He said he ever liveth to make intercession for the saints. Jesus is interceding for us even in heaven. And then he intercedes for us through the Holy Spirit. And if you would pray in the Holy Spirit, he will show you how to navigate this life. Paul said it like this. I believe it was Paul. He said, the eyes of my understanding being enlightened. The Bible says, pray for wisdom from the one who gives it liberally and it prayeth not. That means there is no verbal abuse. There is no vanity like you don't understand this. He prayeth not. He'll just give you wisdom. The Bible says that uh, the, the wise of this world are confounded by the things of God. The things of the Spirit are foolishness unto the natural man because the things of the Spirit have to be spiritually discerned. And God will allow us to see how to navigate, how to navigate the stock market, how to navigate certain career paths, how to navigate uh, even an airport, how to navigate. Glory be to God. How to navigate a neighborhood, El Barrio. How to navigate the city, La Ciudad. He'll show us how to navigate Mexico City. He'll show us how to navigate California. He'll show you how to navigate Hialeah, Florida. He'll show you how to navigate Four Oaks, North Carolina. He'll show you how to navigate Salisbury, Maryland. He'll show you how to navigate Baltimore. He'll show you how to navigate. If you would pray in the Holy Ghost, the Lord will show you things before they happen. The Bible says they spent, look at here, right here in Acts chapter 19 and verse 6. It says, and they spake with tongues and prophesied. God will show you the future. And folks will wonder, how is it that you knew to make a left instead of making a right? How did you know not to get on that bridge on that day? How did you, because the Holy Ghost told me, don't get on the bridge the Holy Ghost said don't get on the airplane the Holy Ghost my Shonda the Holy Ghost said invest in that the Holy Ghost said sell all the stock in that the Holy Ghost said come out of that church the Holy Ghost to tell you right in time the Holy Ghost to tell you pull your child out of that school the Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost will get you to the right place at the right time for the right blessing and the right miracle, the right deliverance. And as right now, I hear it now. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus. He'll show you the future. He'll show you the future. I speak to thee. God wants communion, but the Bible says, Sanctify ye a fast. Sanctify me. Call for a solemn assembly. Alas, for the day, for the day of the Lord is at hand. The Bible says, Some trust in horses, others in chariots, but we remember the name of the Lord our God. What I'm talking about is communion. Adam turned away from God when he turned to the devil so that he could pull from that tree even though he was told not to do it. My God, but God is saying, I want communion. So turn away from the devil and turn to God. It says, looking unto Jesus. The Bible says, I will look to the hills from which cometh my help. All of my, I will bless the Lord at all times. The Bible says, pray without ceasing. God wants communion. The hour has come and now is for the true worshiper in order to worship you must worship in spirit and in truth for God is a spirit and he seeketh such to worship him the Bible says of Jesus I am the way the truth and the life no man come to the father but by me he said you can't go around me he said you have to come in at the door the door of the sheep the door of the sheepfold the door where the sheep come in using a shepherd analogy you have to come in at the door and then he said, I am the door. Glory be to God. 
He said, if you try to come around me, you're a thief and a robber. There's no way to get into the holies without the Holy Spirit. The sign of receiving the Holy Spirit is evident. The evidence of it speaking in other languages by the Spirit of God. Konabasi. For some reason, there's a lot of people that don't have a problem with that anymore. From years ago, they said it was the devil when people were speaking in tongues, but now a lot of people are like, no, we're... But now there's a lot of people that have a problem of being baptized in the name of Jesus. And they don't, a lot of them don't even realize it's because they're connected to Catholicism. That's where the Trinity and all that came from. Hallelujah, which is of the devil. The name of the Father is Jesus. The name of the Son is Jesus. The name of the Holy Ghost is Jesus. All throughout the, the, after Jesus was glorified, they were being baptized in the name of Jesus. And John's baptism was unto repentance. It didn't, when John was baptizing people, it didn't say they were baptizing them and saying anything. They were just baptizing people and the baptism itself was a sign of repentance. You said, what's the scripture? Acts chapter 19 and verse 2. He said unto them, Have you received the Holy Ghost since he believed? And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, Unto what then were ye baptized? And they said, Unto John's baptism. Then said Paul, John verily baptized with the baptism of repentance, saying unto the people that they should believe on him which should come after him, that is, on Christ Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid his hands upon them, the Holy Ghost came on them, and they spake with tongues and prophesied. They spake with tongues like this. It's all different. The Bible says when we're speaking in tongues, in other languages, the glossolalia, we're speaking in tongues of angels and of men. The Bible says in the book of Acts on the day of Pentecost, folks could hear the, the, the Galileans or the Jesus people, his disciples, they could hear them speaking in languages of their nations. Of the, and they were from all different places around the world, which means it's a confirmation to us that speaking in tongues is of languages of the world, but languages that the speaker does not know. And speaking in tongues is also languages of angels. Hallelujah unto God. But when we speak in other tongues, and other languages by the Spirit of God, the glossolalia. It is a language that the speaker doesn't know because it has to be a confirmation to the speaker that it is the otherworldly, supernatural power of God. The Bible says, Jesus said, I'll go away, I'll send back the comforter. Again, that's not the one I want. He said, tarry ye in the city until you be endued with power from on high. Power. Another place, the power of the Holy Ghost. And it'll speak. The Bible says, as it gave utterance, the Holy Ghost spake out of the mouth. They spake with tongues, meaning multiple languages, and prophesied. Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord wants communion, the communion he lost with Adam and Eve. But he recovered them by repentance. And how did they repent? Well, here's how they repented. God forced the repentance by kicking them out of the garden. The one thing they were told not to do, they did that thing. But they couldn't do it anymore because they got kicked out the garden. And that was repentance. And what God will do sometimes is tell us to repent. Don't do that anymore. Don't do that anymore. And then we'll keep doing it. And what, what sometimes happens is that person will die. The person that we just could not stop talking to them. We just could not stop having anything to do it. And God says, okay, I'll take care of that. And they die. Well, God, so if you don't want people to, around you to die, if God says don't talk to them anymore, don't talk to them. If God says don't text them anymore, don't text them. If God says don't email them, if God says don't communicate with them, if God says don't gossip with them or any other evil, 
then don't do it. Or even if it's good, the Bible says, for this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cling to his wife. So it might not be that there's any evil communication. The Bible says, let all conversation be chaste. I mean, good. But then the Bible says, some things are good, but not expedient. In other words, okay, that is your somebody you are talking about. Oh, I love you. We love Jesus. You might be sharing a testimony. But God might say, stop talking to them. And it might not be that there's anything evil, but just God is saying, move on from them. Sometimes it's not that a church or a pastor is bad, but God is just saying, move on. No, I want to keep going to this church until I die. God's saying, move on. You got it. You got every... And we're in our vanity, we don't want to move on from people. In our vanity, we don't want to move on from a career, especially if we're making what's called good money or what we think is good money. Somebody else might think like, are you serious? <laughs> you think that's a lot of money? And so, but <laughs> but it's, it's all from the person's perspective. But when God says move on, I got to the highest salary that I'd ever got to. And the Lord said, move on. You got to trust him. It's according to your faith. Even Jesus said, nevertheless, not my will, but thine will be done. Hallelujah. Jesus is God. And he was saying that as an example for us. The will of God be done. Sometimes God is testing us. He's trying us. Can he trust us? And he's going to develop us until he can trust us. So because the Bible says, if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you shall be saved. It doesn't say you are saved right at that moment when you believe. But it says you shall be saved. Because what God is going to do. Remember the parable of the, uh, the workers who some started in the first hour and others started in the second, third, fourth, all the way up to the eleventh hour. God is going to get us to oneness. Just because somebody doesn't understand baptism in the name of Jesus on Monday, listen, by Tuesday they might understand the eyes of my understanding being enlightened. Some might not, somebody might not, somebody might pray to receive the Holy Ghost on Sunday, and then they might not receive it until Tuesday. But if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you shall be saved. Because the Bible says it like this. The kingdom of God suffereth violence and the violent take it by force. What that means is the kingdom of God, the people of God want everything that has to do with Jesus. Everything that has to do with Jesus. And when somebody wants everything that has to do with Jesus, they're looking in the King James Version. They, if they don't understand baptism in the name of Jesus, they're looking in multiple Bibles. They're praying to God. They're fasting. They're saying, God, show me. I can clearly see it says baptize in the name of Jesus. But for some reason, I can't understand it. And God will open up the understanding. He did it for Paul. He did it for... So many people, they were already baptized under John's baptism, which was unto repentance. And John was being obedient to God. That they wanted the people to prepare the way. They were preparing for the Messiah by repenting. And then so that they would be ready to receive uh, the, the truth. The Bible says grace. The Bible says the law came by Moses, God through Moses. But grace and truth came by the Lord Jesus Christ. So God was simply preparing the way with John. John the Baptist with repentance so that the people's hearts would be ready because many of the people had grown cold towards God they had grown, grown cold towards prayer cold towards fasting so the Lord was preparing the way with John to, that the people's hearts would become tender towards God again and that they would show a sign of repentance and he simply wanted the baptism just to be a sign of repentance that they're turning away from being agnostic which means they're not even having anything to do with God anymore turning away from being atheist where they don't even believe in God and we're talking about the people who are the people the chosen uh, people of God who are the Hebrew people and they had turned from God. And time and again, the priests were the, some of the chiefest in sin and in, in turning from God. And God sent John the Baptist out into the wilderness for the people to come out to him. To come out to him. I don't pray to Jesus.org doesn't have any ads on Google. You come to pray to Jesus.org. You wanna you wanna you wanna understand? You come to me. 
That's what God does sometimes. Sometimes he says, go there for. And other times he says, no, just stand still and let them come to you if they're hungry. Corner, there's nothing hid that will not be revealed. And if the people really wanted to be saved from sin and evil, then he told John, go out to the wilderness. Go, go away from the city and make them come out to you. If you want to be, you want to be repentant, you want God to, to heal you and deliver you set free, go out to the preacher. Go out to the prophet. But it was only to prepare the way. You want to understand baptism in the name of Jesus? Go to Acts 2.38. You want to go to heaven? Read the Bible and pray to God. And you know some people aren't praying because they don't want to know. They're not praying because they don't want to separate from Catholicism. They're not praying because they don't want to separate from Islam. They're not praying because they don't want to have contention with their husband or their wife. Let me tell you something. The Bible says two will be laying in the bed and one will go away and one will still be there. The Bible says two will be working and one will disappear and one will stay there when the, in the second coming. You don't worry about contention with your wife. If the Lord told you about baptism in the name of Jesus, you need to get baptized in the name of Jesus today the way the Bible says. And all of the disciples were baptized in the name of Jesus. And all of the people of God have been baptized in the name of Jesus. Cornabas, we ain't baptized in the name of Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck all into the name of Scooby-Doo. We're baptized all into the name of Jesus. No, we're baptized in the name of Jesus. This ain't Disneyland. The Bible says... And even before there was a Bible, they had word. The, the, how could you hear without a preacher? Well, how could he preach unless he be sent? Well, how can he send, be sent unless he's called? Well, many are called, but few are chosen. Well, obviously, a lot of the people must have been chosen because it says on the day of Pentecost, there were thousands baptized in the name of Jesus. That's how they were baptized. And if you don't understand it, say, God, show yourself. Show me, God. Your husband doesn't want to be baptized in the name of Jesus. You better pray to God and get baptized in the name of Jesus and pray for his soul because I'm telling you, hallelujah, don't go to hell for anybody. The Bible says, that it says they were in Acts chapter 19 and verse 5, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. The old song used to say, if a sinner wants to come, let him come and be saved. The old saints used to say, a sing a song, if father won't go, I'm going. If the mother won't go, I'm going. I'm going on to, to obey God. If the son, if the daughter won't go, if the husband, if the wife won't go, they said, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to obey God. Jesus, God. Don't worry about it. They said, for this cause, the Jesus cause, shall a man leave his father and mother. The Bible says, if you don't hate yourself for my sake, hate your wife, hate your husband, hate your son, hate your daughter for my sake. In other words, what the word hate means is put God first in that context, meaning put God first. I'm not going to hell because this person doesn't understand the necessity of baptism in the name of Jesus. I'm not going to hell because some person close to me doesn't understand speaking in tongues. The Bible says it. And if they're not studying the Bible, obviously they don't want to be saved. The Bible is written in Filipino and German and Russian and, and Ukrainian. The Bible is written in Spanish, Espanol, and, and the Bible is written in uh, so many different French and all these different languages. The Bible is written in hundreds of languages. Hallelujah. And if somebody won't even study it, they won't even study the book of Acts, they're skipping around certain scriptures. That means they don't want to be saved. I pray that every soul would be saved. But the Bible says in Romans, it talks about the predestinated believer. We're not talking about Calvinism, once saved, always saved. No, no, we're talking about there are some people that God has set apart. The, but sanctified means to be set apart. Consecrated means to be set apart. Anointed means to be set apart. Glory be to God. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And sadly, there's some people who are going to hell. I, I wish, I pray that every soul would go to heaven. But you know, there's a lot of folks. The Bible says hell has had to enlarge herself. It's, the Bible is there and it's plain and they don't want to study it. They're going to some church every week and they're not reading the Bible. What a sad state to be in. Go to a church every single week, 52 weeks a year and won't crack open the Bible to see what the Bible says for yourself. 
somebody going to church and praying but won't pray to God. But the Bible says, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet and shut thy door. If you pray to thy Father which is in secret, he shall reward thee openly. When thou fast, fast if don't fast to be seen. If you fast in secret, your heavenly Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. When thou givest alms, God help us, God help me, not to do it to be seen. But if you do it in secret, your heavenly Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. Now here's what God will do. When we pray to him directly in the prayer closet, God might say, now go pray with that other person. Now you've got the two or three. But let me tell you something. You've always got the two because you and Jesus are a majority. And for anybody who's married, if that's why the Bible says, do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. But to some people were married before they were converted. But if you're, if you're married to somebody who's converted, then there's your prayer partner right there. Else we get into some weird, evil, sexually immoral relationships because we just spending so much time with somebody or we're confiding on somebody and some things and that we shouldn't be confiding in them in because they don't have the anointing of a pastor. And being the anointing of a pastor doesn't necessarily mean that somebody has their picture on the wall at some church. The anointing of a pastor has to do with a shepherd, somebody you could talk to them if the Lord leads you. The Lord might say, talk to that person about what you're going through, that you can be accountable to somebody and somebody that could join with you in prayer and pray to God and God will hear the prayers of both of you and you can my God pray together and you know you got somebody you can count on and somebody who won't go tell all your business but we've been going to people they don't have the anointing of a pastor and they're like yeah yeah come talk to me I want to know all the trash and they're of the devil I pray they'd be converted but they're folks calling themselves pastor, but they're not a, if you have the anointing, you don't have to call yourself a prophet. If you have the anointing, you don't have to call yourself a pastor. If you have the anointing, you don't have to call yourself a bishop. If you have the anointing, you just walk in the anointing. And for the, my God, the, the gift itself will you won't be able to hide from it. People will just be coming to you with their hands raised asking for prayer. People, co-workers are turning to you saying, will you pray for me? Folks are coming to you saying, will you teach me? My God, I'll give you pastors, teachers, evangelists, prophets, and apostles. And when we say prophets, we mean prophets and prophetesses. You walk in the gift. I don't have to go around with a t-shirt that says intercessor. I don't have to go, I don't have to put a license plate on my car that says Bishop One. My God, you walk in the anointing. You live in the anointing. Because if you really have the anointing, you ain't trying to invite an attack because the Bible says all that live godly must suffer persecution. And Jesus said daily, take up your cross and follow me. Take up your cross. He said, take up your cross. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And if I have, have the anointing of a pastor, I ain't trying to go around saying, in the crook, say, I'm a pastor, I'm a pastor, I'm a pastor, because I ain't trying to just invite attacks from people who are bitter and angry and want to have a go at me. My God, he had a level, I, we walk in humility in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God, help me, I bind up vanity in me or in anybody in the body of Christ. If nobody clicks, great because you get you know what God said to do it I'm just doing it because God said to do it I do pray for one the Bible says heaven rejoices over one so I don't want to be dramatic I do pray that at least one person would would click on the video and that they would be encouraged that they would be edified it talks about us edifying one another with the different gifts of God and that's why the Lord has me do this but I, I if, if it's not if, if it's not a whole lot of views okay because literally, the more attention you get, <laughs> uh, you uh, my, I don't know if you realize that preachers, a lot of the preachers now have a security detail as like they're the president. Why does a preacher need security detail? Because of death threats. But a lot of those preachers marketed themselves. And if it wasn't for them marketing themselves because they want money, they wouldn't need a security detail. Glory be to God. Jesus said, I walked openly. 
Glory be to God. They've marketed themselves because they had something to sell. And what they're really trying to sell, they're selling themselves. What they're really trying to sell is the gifts of God. What they're really trying to sell is the Holy Spirit. And then when you market yourself, then you draw attention. And when you draw attention, folks have evil spirit and they're suffering from psychosis and everything else. And then they fixate on you. And then they want to attack you. You're getting death threats. Well, stop marketing yourself. Glory be to God. By the way, God have not given us the spirit of fear. If God tells a preacher to hire security, well, you got to do what God says to do. But did God tell you to sell the Holy Spirit as if the Holy Ghost is a prostitute? Freely ye have received, freely ye give. Glory be to God. God has blessed me to know how to play. Uh, you know, I, I, got a, I got a ways to go. I can get better and I pray to be better. But I'm not, he didn't bless me to learn how to play keyboard and some other instruments so that I could turn myself into a prostitute and prostitute the anointing. No, no, no. The gifts of God are number one to bless the Lord. And how do we bless the Lord? He said, when I was thirsty, so when I was hungry, when I was in prison, in other words, when I was sick, in other words, what he's saying is the gifts of God are to bless the people of I, the reason why we have resources is to bless other people, to bless our children, to bless the Lord will teach us and educate us so that we can educate our children. And then the Lord might say, now go educate those people over there. They need to learn how to read. The Lord says, I'm going to teach you about the Godhead, which means God taking different manifestations, Father, Son, Holy Ghost. The Lord, the Lord will educate us about the plan of salvation, which is what I've been doing. Acts 2, 38, Acts 19, 4, and 5. How can we ascend into the holies? We've got to be baptized in the name of Jesus, filled with the Holy Ghost. The evidence. And, and you, he doesn't teach us that for us to just take a nap and say, thanks, Lord. Thank you. Oh, thanks for teaching me how to play so I can go off in a corner and just play chords. No, I taught you how to play that you might edify, that you might build up, that by the, the Holy Ghost would work through you and that you would encourage the body of Christ. I, I've given you an ability to hold people's attention so that you would hold their attention for one thing only, that they would bless the Lord. The gifts of God are to bless God. Father, show yourself. It's all about communion. Jude chapter 1 and verse 20, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. And the, my, my shondo, uh, praying in the Holy Ghost in tongues. And we can also pray in the Holy Ghost in our native language. But the confirmation has to be in other tongues that we would know that we've received the Holy Ghost. Now then he says, pray without ceasing. Then we go to 2 Chronicles 7 and 14, which was God prophesying through Solomon. And he prophesied to him and said, if my people, which are called by my name, again, remember, baptized in the name of Jesus, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Again, remember repentance. Then will I hear from heaven, I will forgive their sins, remission, pardon, again, that's cross-referencing Acts 2.38, and I will heal their land. I will heal their land in the Ukraine. I will heal their land in Russia. I will heal the land in St. Petersburg Metro. I will heal the land in the Moscow region. I will heal the land in the Siberian region. I will heal the land in Warsaw, Poland. I will heal the land in Amsterdam. I will heal the land in the Philippines. I will heal the land in South Africa. I will heal the land in Joburg. I will heal the land in Nigeria. I will heal the land in Accra, Ghana, Cote d'Ivoire, Ethiopia, Egypt. I will heal the land in Bermuda. I will heal the land. God says, I will heal the land. Father, do it in the name of Jesus. God bless you. We love you. Stay prayerful. Hallelujah. The prayer closet to your holy throne, Jesus. You speak to me. I want piano. I'm done. I don't usually do this. I don't usually just stop like that. But I'm doing something different today. I'm going to switch into piano for a while. And I'm going to turn the mic off. Hallelujah.
speak to me. Hallelujah. Thy speak to thee. This is a war. Sometimes he said, go, 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 go. It's the Lord. The preacher used to say, I feel something pushing me. I feel something pushing me. The, by the word that they used to see is the unction, which is the divine manifestation of God's grace. Glory be to God. You can the, the word glory means to be manifest, to appear. And you can discern the presence of God. And then other times the Lord will say, get quiet, get quiet, get quiet, get quiet. Sometimes you'll just sit and just be shaken in his presence. You're just shaking the glory. Sometimes you can't even speak, you can't even move, you just cry. The power of God. God told Moses, if I were to go by you, you couldn't stand it. I mean, you would just evaporate, just vaporize in the presence of the Lord. What is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a moment and then vanisheth away. Now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer. From the prayer closet to your holy throne, Jesus. I might seem like I'm dramatic. I'm telling you the situation we're dealing with is dramatic. I'm not trying to be dramatic. It's how the Holy Ghost moves. How can you experience the presence of the Most High God and not cry sometimes? It's not about being emotional, but at some time you're going to cry. At some point you're going to dance. At some point you're going to scream. At some point, my God, I'm telling you the devil ain't holding back. If it was your child in Palestine, you'd scream. Glory be to God. If that was your child in Israel, you'd scream. You'd cry. God save us from glory. If that was your brother in Syria, you'd cry. You'd cry out to God. You'd lay out on the floor. You'd lay out in the middle of the street and cry out to God. By the situation we're dealing with in the Ukraine, in Russia, all throughout Africa, the situation we're dealing with in America, it's dramatic. And so we got it. My Kornaba say, God, in the name of Jesus, show yourself, manifest yourself. I come, it says in Isaiah 45 and 11, he said, command ye me. Kormada, they didn't say anything about the word, please. They don't know that word in the East. They didn't grow up using the word, please. Kornaba sanda. I don't know if the word please is even in the Bible. You, you can look it up. In fact, I'll do it right now. Hallelujah. It might be in there, but I don't know how many prayers people were praying and they said, please. Hallelujah. Oh, it is in there. They said, oh, it says more like this. If she please not, yeah, please. It will please God. Yeah, they're using please in another way. The situation we're dealing with is more like, God, right now, do it. Somebody's son is on the line. Somebody's daughter is on the line. The people of God, we study. The Bible says, study to show thyself approved. A work, but we understand what's going on. And we're not, we're not crazy. <laughs> we understand what speaking in tongues is. It's the Spirit of God. But we also understand that when we see violence and sexual immorality and there's an agenda in the media, we understand that's a manifestation of, the evil, of an evil spirit. Satan has a job to do, but I have a job to do, and you have a job to do too. And the Bible says in the book of Job, it, it teaches us what's going on. That Satan was asking God, can I do this? And God said yes to attack Job. And he said, can I do this? And he said, no. So what the evil spirits, and remember when Jesus went, got off the boat, and the man had legion, and he came down and worshiped, or they worshiped and caused the man to worship God. Because listen, evil spirits worship God. They don't have a, they have, they're drawn to, they're still of the, they're still the angels turned into demons, but they still, the Bible says they came down, ran down and worshiped God. The Bible says as Jesus was walking through the streets, that the evil spirits were making the people cry out saying, this is the Messiah. This is a man. God told them to be quiet and they were quiet. Jesus told them to be quiet. They were quiet. 
Kona baba isi. Kona la basha nirele bosi. God, Jesus said the spirit is willing the flesh is weak the reason why people are not surrendering to God is because the flesh the word carnal carnality he said the spirit is willing but the, the so let's do it again the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak because the Bible says the things of the spirit are foolishness unto the natural man it's somebody's brain that's telling them that speaking in tongues is crazy but they obviously don't think Halloween is crazy Anything that has to do with the devil, they're on that. But anything that has to do with God, they say, oh, that's all. When, the, when evil... They're confused in their mind. Their brain is holding. Many people, they won't give over to God because their mind, their flesh is telling them this is not real or what is this. Or, but there are other people who are tenderhearted. Because God has caused them to move. We have to pray. Because God has converted millions. And if you have a son, if you have a daughter, pray for my family. If you have a son, if you have a daughter, if you have a husband or a wife or a neighbor or a co-worker, whoever, and they're just not getting it. They're just being evil or they're just being agnostic, which means they just don't have anything to do with God. Or, they, or they're trying, sincerely trying to understand the things of God, but they just, it's just not coming. We just We have to pray. And we have to pray. The Bible says, there's a scripture, it says, Elisha said, Father, open their eyes, open his eyes. There's one point where there was, uh, they were surrounded. I don't know if in this instance with Elisha or Elisha, Elijah or Elisha, I believe it was Elisha, where they were surrounded by an enemy, by an enemy. Or they, there was a lot of the enemy and he said oh like we're going to die but he said God opened his eyes and he looked out again and there were angels all around he said God opened his eyes and I'm like, I've come all the way to YouTube to let you know there are angels all around you glory be to God the enemy has to get permission from God. Here's what, Father, show yourself. Here's how we, why we have to pray without ceasing. Because the enemy is praying without ceasing. Pray, the word prayer has to do with request. So all day, the enemy is asking God, can I hurt this one? Can I hurt that one? Can I do this? Can I start a fire there? Can I send a storm there? Can I? The enemy can work in the weather. Can I send a tsunami there? Can I send an earthquake there? And all day, the body of Christ, we're sitting watching television while the enemy is constantly asking God, can I do this thing? So he said, you need to come to me and say, pray. The Lord is saying, pray without ceasing. The enemy sure is. Remember in the book, uh, 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 in the New Testament, where the man had said legion, for there were many evil spirits in him. Or that the evil spirit sent legion out of him. And they asked, and they knew that Jesus was going to cast them out. They knew, they already knew it. They know God. And they knew Jesus was God in the flesh. And they knew that when they, when they looked, it says when they looked and saw Jesus got off the boat, they ran down to him. The man would not have recognized Jesus because he never seen Jesus before. They didn't say he recognized, the man recognized Jesus. Because the things that are spirit have to be spiritually determined. Of course, the evil spirits recognize Jesus when they see him. They know God. They lived in heaven until they were a third was kicked out. The things of the spirit have to be spiritually discerned. God is a spirit. So here's the point. The point is this. They knew that Jesus came to cast them out of that man. They knew it. And the only reason that they, they came down to worship... Because they had to. Because they were created to worship. The angels were, even though a third were kicked out of heaven, they were created to worship and they still, that's still what they do. And that worship means obedience. The Bible says an evil spirit from the Lord. The Bible says God created evil. Well, we're getting deep today. I didn't mean that Father show you. that God is doing it. Evil spirits are still worshiping God. Here's why. They have an assignment 
The Bible says all that live godly must suffer persecution. The Bible says daily take up your cross. Why? Because he wants communion. And when people do, sometimes when folks, a lot of times you can see it in the Bible, when there is not an enemy, folks get lazy, folks get atheist, folks get agnostic, folks become heathens, folks start serving idol gods. So God... When Solomon did not have an enemy, he started serving idol gods. The same Solomon that when he had made an end of praying, the fire came down from heaven. Start serving idol gods. When there's not an enemy, when there's not a test, when there's not a trial, folks oft times turn from God. Adam and Eve, if they would have had an enemy, they could have said, they could have been God, 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 Jesus, God, 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 just constantly. Because when there's a sickness, then people, they're reminded, oh yeah, God. When there's, when there's COVID-19, oh yeah, God, prayer. Oh, I forgot about prayer. I forgot about fasting. When your child is sitting there hooked up to machines and you all of a sudden you remember the concept of prayer. Glory be to God. When it's your husband and your wife, they're sick. You, you remember prayer. Well, why weren't you praying before? Because when there's not an enemy, oftentimes we, that's why God allowed for the enemy to become the enemy, the devil, and a third to give the devil his little team to keep, because God knew I'm going to allow Adam and Eve to sin. He didn't cause a man to sin. He doesn't give permission to sin, but he allowed for sin because he wants worshipers, but he wants worshipers to choose him. Choose you this day. You can either go towards the devil or you can go towards God. And then when people choose God, because of the flesh, remember the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Because of the flesh, we'll suffer, for, basically suffer from carnality. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, the pride of life. So God will allow for somebody to come against the family, come against the marriage, come against us on the job. And then the Jesus people will say, oh, Jesus, Father, show yourself, help me. They're trying to, they're bullying me. They're going to... We'll get, and then we'll get back into prayer. We'll get back into fasting. We'll get, a lot of times we'll pray, but until that thing gets really bad, we won't fast. We'll still be on Facebook, still be eating whatever, still be pretty much, I mean, not really spiritual in, in terms of the Holy Spirit. But then when things get really bad, then the people of God are like, okay, I need to fast. But what God is doing is that do that all the time. But if you won't do it all the time, okay, God is merciful. He'll allow for a, the enemy to come in. Every sickness is a manifestation of an evil spirit. Every sickness shows us, oh, there's an evil spirit there. And it's manifesting as whatever that sickness is. It's a spirit of infirmity, a spirit. God, told, God spoke to the sickness. Remember Peter's mother-in-law? God spoke to the sickness. Because the sickness really was a manifestation of an evil spirit. So he was really speaking to an evil spirit and telling it, get out. Leprosy, get out. But you're talking to the evil spirit that's manifesting as leprosy. Fever, get out. But you're really speaking to that evil spirit that is... He wants communion. Jesus, Jesus. He wants us to stay focused on him. Looking unto Jesus. The Bible says, if he spared not his own son, looking unto Jesus, meaning on the cross. But also say, I look to the hills from which cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord. Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye here gazing? Jesus in like man, he's coming back. You got to be ready. Father, help me too. Deliver us from the all media, not just so. And by the way, all media is social because the only way you use a only reason you use a medium is so that there can be a sender and a receiver. So all media is social: newspaper, text message, all media, SMS, <laughs> to all you, direct messaging. They say DM and all this and instant messenger. All media is social media, but there are some that are more popular in terms of the internet. Folks don't usually put television programs out to not have somebody watch. <laughs> right? All media is social. There's a sender, there's a receiver, and there's an agenda. And you can tell what the agenda is by the way they're dressed. It doesn't matter if it's a church. It doesn't matter if it's a school. You can tell what their agenda is by the way they're dressed, by the words coming out of their mouth, by what they type. They've got a, you can tell off the bat, that's an evil... 
That's a, they've got a, an agenda for an evil spirit to try to push the alternative lifestyle or whatever it is, sexual immorality, violence. But the people of God, we're always on, if it's not teaching on salvation, what does it have to do with Jesus really? Because the Bible says, thou shalt call his name Jesus. How are you not going to Acts 2.38? How are you not going to Acts 19.4 and 5? What does it matter that you played 15 songs really well and you've got a million albums sold and all the people from the church died and went to hell because nobody ever was baptized in the name of Jesus. Nobody ever received the Holy Ghost because all they really wanted was money. And the love of money, really it should, the word there should have been the lust after money is the root of all evil. How much evil? God, get me out of here. Because there's some preachers that when they look out on the congregation, what they actually see is not human beings. What they see is dollar signs. They want attention, but oftentimes the reason why they want attention is look at me, look at me, give me money. But you can look all through the description. And what you're going to see is John 3 and 5, Acts 2, 38, 2 Chronicles 7, 14, because God said, but you don't see any links to Cash App. You don't see any links to any uh, thing to give me money. I got money. You good. You don't need to give me any money. I got money. And I don't want none of your dirty money. God, well, help me, Jesus. Filthy lucre. Let me tell you something. You, say, you accept money from people, you better pray to God first. Spirits transfer. Glory be to God. Folks are taking money from folks. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh-huh, wonder why you're having nightmares. Because that money is a spiritual transfer. God, get me out of here. That person in the congregation is divorced. Now you're divorced, Mr. Pastor. Stop taking money. You're so desperate for money. That thing is transferring. They call it a transaction, don't they? It's a spiritual transaction. When people are given something, they, let's say, they used to say it like this, maybe more Southern. You can't eat everybody's food. Stop listening to that preacher. If he's saying stuff that you know that that's not right, that's not biblical, stop listening to him. Because whatever evil spirit of false doctrine that is in him, that thing will get on you. Glory be to God. God, get me out of here. But there are many preachers who are holy, righteous, sanctified, consecrated. And if anybody is off, I pray that God would get them on. Get them right. Hallelujah. But if it's not teaching on salvation, what did Jesus say? He said, go therefore and teach them and baptize them. By the way, what's the name of the Father? Jesus. What's the name of the Son? Jesus. What's the name of the Holy Ghost? Who would even fall for? Who's, who's spreading all this? Even? He said an enemy has done this. Remember the parable of the sower? An enemy has done this. The Bible says there's but one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Look at Acts 19 and 5. Look at Acts 2.38. Remember Cornelius' house? They baptized them in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Paul was baptized in the name of Jesus. Peter was baptized in the name of Jesus. An enemy is trying to divorce us from Christ, trying to divert us from Christ, trying to distract us from Christ. Look unto Jesus. How do we stay with our gaze on Jesus, one with Jesus, by the Holy Spirit of Jesus? We've got to be baptized in the name of Jesus, and we have to pray without ceasing that we would not be led astray. The Bible says, uh, save yourselves from this untoward generation, meaning they're not going towards God. They're going towards hell. Save yourselves from this untoward generation. How can we do that? This kind cometh forth not out but by prayer and fasting. They continued instant in prayer and fasting. God help. The Bible says the Spirit itself maketh intercession. He ever liveth to make intercession for the saints. So, Father, I pray that you would pray and fast through me from whatever. Because a lot of our issues are food, absolutely. And a lot of it is television and social media. And, and a lot of it is, one man said it like this, by the Holy Ghost, I believe it was, God is downsizing your relationships. You got a wife? Who's all those other women? You got a husband? Who's those other men? The Bible says, For this call shall a man leave his father and mother and cling to his wife, and the two shall be one flesh. Who's all those other people? So that's a co-worker? Okay. You need to be communicating like that with a co-worker. Y'all know a lot of personal stuff about each other. 
santifiki. You, you go to church with that person? How do y'all know so much personal stuff about each other? That's what the church does? That's what church is for? Y'all seem to know the most intimate, inappropriate things about each other. You ain't going to that church to have anything to do with God. You going to get some uh, busybody in other men's matters. God help me too. I'm going to be honest. I've looked at, God help me. I've been on there uh, looking at the church announcements. <laughs> What? When did that happen? Who did it, who's this now? Is this a new pastor? Who is he? What? I, God help me, Jesus. You don't, I don't lie and say, oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to work. If God sends you, God sends you. I know one time I was praying and the Lord told me to go to a church and I'm like, God help me. And I went and it wasn't no good experience. Sometimes God will tell you to go to a church and you're like, God help me. Cause you only want to go when they're, for me personally, it's like I'm into music, you know, and shouting and dancing and high praise and, and, uh, <laughs> you know, just really crying out to God and God will tell you to go somewhere. And it's like, they don't even play on beat. I mean, sorry. G <laughs> it ain't no, and folks are coming at you and folks getting in your face. It's like, I wouldn't have chosen to go here. No, God chose it. I said, God, how do I know when to leave? He said, you'll know. And when they stopped worshiping God, I knew to stand up and walk out because they started going on to some other stuff. Baby dedications and stuff that didn't have a thing to do with what. Get, Father, get me out of here. You know what's spiritual? Prayer. You know what's spiritual? Fasting. You know what's spiritual? Is when the people get on one accord. They're singing a song. As the Bible says, all day singing psalms and spiritual hymns and praying while the song is being played and people reading the scripture together, they start doing some other stuff and it's like, that don't have a thing to do with... No if God said to do it, okay. But you know what I'm talking about. Father, get me out of here. They start going off onto some other stuff. We'll be having a raffle on Saturday. What's that got to do with worshiping God? God is a spirit. God help us, Jesus. Kornabasi, what's bingo night got to do with holiness? You know that don't happen. The hour has come for the true worshiper. Seven? Is, anybody have a seven? Seven B? I don't know. I can't remember how bingo even goes. Hallelujah. Stay prayerful. I didn't know it was going this way. I never know how it's going to go. But stay prayerful. Stay prayerful. My God, God will show you. Hey, don't watch that anymore. God will make sure they cancel the show, just like he kicked Adam and Eve out the garden, but he recovered them that way so they couldn't commit that sin anymore. God, will, I told you, I think it was earlier in this broadcast. It's been so long, I don't remember. God, if you don't, if you don't separate from somebody, they might just die. When God says separate, he ain't joking. Separate from them. When God says repent, when God says relocate, when God says move on from a church, from a job, from a family, God might tell you to separate from your entire family. Remember in the book of Genesis, the Bible told Abraham, get from your kindred. This is, we're in a competition, and it's like family versus God a lot of times. Not all the time, but God is jealous. Capital J, that's one of his names. I got my kippah falling off. God, you all didn't even tell me my kippah was falling off. Hallelujah. God bless you. We love you. Stay prayerful. Thank you, Jesus.